We don't talk enough about files that may unwind, nickel titanium um, mechanized files. So imagine you're using your file, you know your working length is to 20 millimeters. Well, what if you're using a file that unwinds very easily? Not great quality, unwinds very easily. So now you're trying to instrument the rubber stopper is at 20 millimeters, but it unwound and stretched a millimeter. It spun tons of times, hundreds of times potentially inside that canal before you took it out and realized, oh, it's unwound. An unwound file that's maybe 21 millimeters to begin with now is 22 millimeters. So all of a sudden, you instrumented, let's say, a millimeter longer than what you thought. You blew open that constriction, didn't think much of it, and then wonder why now when it comes to obturation, um, you're getting stuff out the apex. It's because, again, you didn't quite appreciate what's happening at the apical constriction. So unwinding files, for me, is a huge issue. We should talk about it just as much as we talk about broken files because the damage that they do to the apical part of the root is very, very significant. So the bottom line is, please, try not to use nickel titanium uh, mechanized files that unwind, okay? Try and do your best. I don't care how cheap or popular they may be, just try and avoid that because that has a lot of consequences when it comes to obturation. Not to mention having that file push debris out the apex, post-op pain, complications with that, on and on. Nothing good comes out of a file that unwinds easily, okay? Um, so it's something for you to, to make note of when it comes to instrumenting.